Shoot interesting. the breeze with tennis. <laughs> Boy, what an interesting kite that was. It was breezy around here, too. It's spring, but it may not feel like it to you. I'll tell you more what to expect in the News 4 forecast coming up. First, a look at tomorrow's weather for the nation. The Smithsonian Institution sponsors this annual festival, and it's a real crowd pleaser. There's a lot of originality, a lot of hard work, but sometimes not quite enough wind to get going. The age of the fires range from youngsters to senior citizens, and they came from all over the world. Looks like it was a lot of fun, Janice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we had some breeze here. We could have flown a few kites in Central Park today. No doubt about it. The winds have been gusting up to 30, 40 miles an hour, even around here. I know everybody wants spring to be here real, real soon. Well, it's here. It's just that it's taking a while for things to warm up. I'll tell you when they will warm up, if they do, coming up in a second. First, let's go outside and check conditions. And we had a nice day and folks were out and about all across the region. And here's uh, pictures from Washington Square Park down in Greenwich Village. And uh, it was clear and 51 degrees right now. Winds are out of the northwest at 14 miles per hour, but they have been gusting during the past hour to 30 miles per hour. So that makes it feel cool. Even the temperatures were in the 50s today. Still quite chilly. Relative humidity extremely low at 18 percent, barometer rising to 9.84. We saw a high today of 56 degrees after a low of 33. All right, here's some other temperatures across the tri-state area. Right now, everybody hovering around the 50 degree mark right now. We have mostly clear skies across the region. To our north, though, we're, or our northeast, we're seeing still that cy cyclonic circulation of clouds around low pressure spinning just off the Canadian Maritimes. It's been cloudy all day across sections of New England. Boston hasn't been out of the 40s all day, and they've had clouds cover there, but you can see where the breaks were from much of New York State all the way down the coast to Washington, D.C., where it was pretty sunny and clear. This strong northwest flow is what kept the very strong gusty winds across the area today, uh, rotating around low pressure and high pressure, which is over Michigan. And so that's channeling in dry but cool air. So even though we had sun, the sun breaking out today, and temperatures were up into the 50s, it didn't really make much difference uh, in terms of how it felt because that cool air kept it uh, feeling quite chilly. So that's going to be the case for the next couple of days. Tonight, we'll see mostly clear skies, winds generally out of the northwest, may gust as high as 25 miles per hour overnight, and temperatures dropping as low as the mid-20s down into the mid-30s across the area. So there will be a few places below freezing tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll rise up into the 40s. We'll have plenty of sunshine and winds out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Now, during the day tomorrow, it's going to be another day in the 50s, but those gusty winds out of the northwest continue 15 to 20 miles per hour. So remember, it's still going to feel chilly outside even in the sunshine, but it'll be a pretty day with mostly sunny skies. Here's the outlook for the next five days. Up to 53 degrees on Monday, slightly cooler, clouds increasing. There's a storm system moving in from the plains. May bring us a chance for showers on Tuesday. It'll be a little cooler then. Wednesday, high of 53. Thursday, mostly cloudy and cooler still at 48. Maybe a slight chance mm. then, too. So not really going to warm up much this week. We'll have to wait and see what happens next week. You are impressed with that cyclonic Cyclonic. Move? Oh, did you like that cyclonic? I can do an anti-cyclonic. Oh, <laughs> That's weather talk, folks. That's right. And that is